everybody, welcome to another edition of Talking Gold here at Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds with Rick Davis, Brooke Buckner, and uh, it's been a, another busy week. Uh, hot week. It has been hot. hot. It has been was it 97 this week. I still don't think it was as bad as it was last week, though, or the week before I that. Didn't we have a I couple weeks ago the that we were just like, yeah, it's the murder. humidity <laughs> is murder. I remember in the mountains, they said it was going to be 68 degrees oh. that night. It was a cold snap. Yeah, it oh. was nice. It was in Gatlinburg. It was nice. But uh, one of those here. that's the heat still. That's why vacations are still, I think they're still hopping. Uh, kids don't go people back for... Looking, people are looking for money for their vacations, yeah. you know. Um, gas prices, jeez. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still killing us. Uh, my, my little tiny car was $100 to fill it up. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I think it holds 16 gallons. Yeah. My Hummer, mm -hmm. $160 to fill it up. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, break the bank. Um, you know, but you imagine going from here to Daytona Beach. That's three tanks of gas. Lord mercy, yep. Uh, you know, $450, $500 just in fuel alone. I used to run down there on one tank five, four or five years ago when I had the Red Hummer. I could go to Daytona Beach for $150, $200 in fuel. Yeah. That's four hundred fifty, five hundred dollars. So, I got to know, Lexington for about that much. Yeah, no, I mean, two, it just, it over two hundred. It puts a damper on yeah. everybody's vacations. It, you know, it's, it's things we got to pay attention to. Yeah. You know, the gas prices are run away crazy. Inflation is crazy. Food prices. in forty-one years. You know, and we've never seen this. My parents never dealt with it. Your parents never dealt with it. You know, we don't know what to do. We don't know how to approach this thing. Yeah. It's just run away and. You know, we've, we've got to change administration. We've got to get some things done. And that's that's just point blank. That's no problem. Yeah. Well, back here in the store, um, we still have uh, bridal season is still popping. It has not slowed down since we started advertising for June brides bridal, at all. June brides. Now it's July brides. Now it's going to be August brides. Yeah. And then we go into Christmas. So. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people get married at Christmas time, you know, mm -hmm. so. That's true. Yeah. Or even get engaged What's at new Christmas with time. I still remember that being a thing. You've got to have some new things popping. My life is so uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most interesting thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Diamonds. Mm -hmm. Diamonds, would you like to Dimons. see my new sapphire ring? <laughs> your new sapphire, sapphire and diamond sapphire ring. Sapphire and diamond ring. And oh, your new Tiffany <laughs> piece. Oh, totally forgot about oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty one. Thank you. Tiffany and Company. Tiffany and Company, and it is a nice piece. A new bubble. It's very cute. Uh, yeah. And probably somewhere around a couple thousand dollars, and it was like forty-five hundred. Oh yeah. At in the store. Yeah. 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 Probably easy. So anyway, we still stack up the deals. You know, we got we got things every day, new new stuff. For sure. Um, great stuff comes across the desk. Mm -hmm. What? Great stuff comes across your desk. Mm -hmm. uh, we do get some interesting things. Yeah. You know, let's go back to uh, some in-store footage in a minute, and we'll show some of those things and how the, how we get them. That that'll sounds be, good. That'll be good for everybody. Everybody mm -hmm. likes in-store footage. That is one of my favorites. Yeah. All, right. All right, guys, we'll be right back with you. It's your friend in the jewelry business again, Rick Davis. Anything you need in the jewelry business, we can help you. Come and see me, Rick Davis, 5301 Brainerd Road, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you and God bless. This is Rick Davis of Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds. It's time that we pay attention to what's going on in the country. We the people have to change the world. Things are not going our way. It's not the way things should be. It's not the way that we grew up. It's not the things that we know. God bless us all. We're faced with times that we've never been involved with before. Things are going on in this world that can't be explained, but if you pay attention, you'll survive it. Put gold and silver back now so that you don't have to go to banks. You don't have to borrow money. You don't have to ask anybody's permission to get your money. If you have it at home, put up in a safe, gold and silver will rise and it will be the answer to your financial problems. So take advantage of it. Buy it today while it's still affordable. Thank you and God bless.
welcome back guys to Talking Gold. Um, real quick before we get into some other store things, um, well these are store things, but do want to remind everybody parking in the back is a hundred times easier than it is to park in the front. Just stay off that street. Um, plenty of room, you have the light, you have, you know, you don't have to do that whole kamikaze backing out thing on the Brainerd Road, so always remember parking in the back and the handicap ramp is back there as well. Red light um, controlled. Red light controlled, exactly. New store um, hours. New store hours. Um, so through September, we are going to be uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, and then we're still 10 to 3 on Saturdays. But yeah. Closed on Sunday. Closed, oh, yes. Closed on Sundays as always, but 10 to 5, Monday through Friday um, through September. And uh, you know, that, that, so that sounds like such a little fracture of time. <sighs> it makes a fraction world of, of difference. time, but it. It we makes a world of difference at, at the grocery store. It seems like I've stole two hours. <laughs> I mean, that? I really, literally feel like I've taken two hours off right in the middle of the day yeah. or something. It yeah, just, me too. It doesn't feel right. It, it's I've 46 no, it years. Feels great. I've been it feels great. It, yeah, it feels great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it feels perfectly right. We feel perfectly right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it it really feels good. I mean, it's it's just a little break for three months, but we all take it for granted that we get that, mm. and we don't take it. And I mean, I'm in here at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night sometimes, counting and trying to check inventories. And, you know, that's just such that's a, a waste of time. a long day. Yeah, yes. yeah, it makes for a really long day. But when I get out the door at 5 o'clock, whoo. Still feel energetic. <laughs> I can't tell you how exciting that is for me. I, get, I have time to get a haircut and gas, and mm. I can go to the grocery store. I can do all kinds of stuff in mm -hmm. an hour. It's, I enjoy it's it. Very nice. I love it. Very nice. All right. What happened um, today, uh, this week that was interesting? We had some crazy things. So. Definitely a full moon on Wednesday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the what? Yeah. A super moon on Wednesday. Or was it Tuesday? One of those days. Yeah. No, it had to have been Wednesday. Yeah. <clears throat> when the moon it seemed was... like we had 40, 47 people that day. And they were it was all... big numbers. Not making any sense. <laughs> no, howling, not howling. Sure, but a lot of them. And yeah. now we've got two or three dealers that's competing with each other, seeing who can pay the most. That's interesting. That's a good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I always like to do that because I can help my customers mm. by getting more from dealers. I can help have them get more, and then they're happy with me. And then when we go to sell something, it's you know reflects the price. So it's all good. It's all, mm -hmm. all good. good. Oh, and repairs as well. Um, we are slightly backed up on repairs. I think we're about 10 days out right now, which is still better than anybody in town. Um, but repairs are just blowing up. I swear we're taking in, I wouldn't even be able to tell you how many 40, a day. 50 a day probably. East, at least. Yeah, at we least. Had the, yeah. There was a time that I, I done, I started in Chattanooga 25 years ago. I put uh, three jewelers on duty. And I had the only, I was the first, people was tired of waiting two and three days for their repairs. I put in fast fix jewelry repair while you wait. Oh, what a headache. I'm sure. But we but kept jewelers three jewelers busy <laughs> yeah, but they were. every month for, I ran that about two and a half to three years. Wow. We kept three jewelers busy. If it was long, if it took longer than 15 minutes, it was free. Of course, now that was when a chain sorter was $3. That's, That's right. <laughs> That's so insane. Back in the Stone Age, I can't, can't imagine that right now. Uh, I actually ran repairs when I went to Hamilton Place Mall 22 years ago. I had chain repair at 99 cents. What? And I could not get any repairs business in the, out, out of the mall. Malls was charging 8 and $10 to sort a chain then. I'm doing it for 99 cents, but you got to leave the mall on the way home and come to my store, which was on the outskirts of the mall, mm. um, right across from the old knife museum. And you know, it was, oh, yeah. it was, you had to have an effort, but if you come in, one chain sorter was nine, 99 cents and I I'd get imagine. eight or 10 a day. So I made eight or $10 a day, you know, and giving it away at that, right. it was costing me $12 to get it done. Yeah. Right. But that didn't work. That's a different <laughs> story. But, um, yeah, different times now. You know, new um, times, new hours, new everything, but our we price We did as you wait, our jewelers would be on suicide watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, so we we're can go over the price the list all day long with a customer, but until you actually see the piece, 
nothing right. makes sense because you got to show them what needs, how many prongs need to be rebuilt. Um, the shank needs How many to solders sort of, you actually need? Yeah, you yeah. may need 10 sorters on a little chain and they're what, $25 a sorter? $30. $30, mm -hmm. $30 a sorter. You know, so 10 sorters, 300 bucks, and that seems a little outrageous. And it is, if you change that wore out, you need to trade it in, buy your new chain, yeah, and you know, we <laughs> Not have to worry about it. it for a while. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what we recommend in a case like that, but. It is surprising when they come in and they want a new, you know, lobster claw or something, and we have to tell them our How cost is, is, is ridiculous. This, you know, yeah. I just seen that last week, a lobster claw, which used to be $12, $15, Hundred and eighty one dollars, hundred and fifty five dollars, hundred and sixty dollars. When you tell I a customer this, that, and I seen the price <laughs> list. Yeah, and Craig yeah. was ordering three, four of them, and I said, "What? What are you doing?" And he said, "I'm ordering three lobster class." And I said, "At a hundred and a quarter a piece, there's three hundred set for three little class. That's yeah. just what holds your chain on." And he said, "That's what cost is." Well, you double that trying to do the repair business. You try to mm. double it. $300 for a crab claw? No, no, I don't think so. No. So we charge, if it's 125, we charge 150 plus installation, you know, but it's still, it's it's highway robbery. It seems ridiculous. It feels like it's highway robbery, yeah, yeah. but that's I just mean, the well, way I it mean, is now. When you look that, at the yeah. price list, you know, right. that's what we pay. And if you take it to the mall, they charge three times. Sure. Mm -hmm. So $125 class are in the mall, they will charge you 375 Yeah. And you're waiting six weeks to get your stuff back. Yep. <laughs> they don't feel bad yeah, about it at all. Yeah, they told somebody they had to send it back to the factory to get it repaired. It goes back to Gun yeah, Barrel Road. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to where yeah. it goes. It goes to the man. Uh, and but they have so many because they do so many stores that, yeah, you're six to eight weeks out minimum, depending uh, on what you're having no, done. That's, just, that's another whole set of problems yeah. that we have to Well, that's with their problems. Day. That's why we like doing it here. Um, <laughs> but our, our wait period is, is very, very reasonable. reasonable. Very, Again, very reasonable. Very, very Again, still one of the best in town. And, so. we, and we do a few favors occasionally if it has, you know, something needs yeah. it for special vacation. Well, and it's not out. necessarily the whole 10 days, yeah. but we're having to give them that allotted time yeah. because yeah. of the volume that we're getting. Yeah. And all the custom work. We've had a ton a of, custom of custom work, work. Yeah. this summer. It's been crazy. So they need they need time and special attention. So if you think that's crazy? Just, wait till this fall when they start doing all oh, the designs and, and the and wedding Christmas rings is they want ready for Christmas. And, yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. The logo <laughs> stuff that David's doing, the engraving machine that he just bought, yep. forty something thousand, thirty five, yep. forty thousand dollars for very the engraving. Yeah. But you know, I mean, that's just something that we that he's doing that puts us a step above the rest there of the competition. Keep us a we'll one stop shop. Yep. All right, guys. And on that, I think we're going to go to uh, questions with Rick. That sounds good with you. It's good with me. I like that. Always. Let's do it. Okay. The first question is, hey, Rick, we live outside of Nashville. Every time we are in Chattanooga, I stop by your store and buy something. I haven't been down since before COVID hit until last week when I stopped into the store. Your showroom has changed so much. It is amazing. Yes, we did make some changes during COVID. And that's from Joan in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Joan from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Thanks a lot for your note. Um, we have done a lot with the store. It, it's amazing for me to look back at footage. We looked at some of the show footage from a year ago. And in the last year, we've added $12,000 worth of lighting. The lights and all the uh, fixtures in the showroom are all new bright LED lights, uh, something that's low, low energy burn. Uh, I think Craig told me that we saved $400 a month on our electric bill with just changing the lights. But you know, all these lights was 11 or $12,000. We put down the floor, the, uh, the gray floor, and the other picture we had, it was carpet and it was shag carpet, it was just a brown, and uh, at one time it was a rose carpet when it was Catherine's dress shop. All the trim around the entire showroom was hot pink for nearly 10 years. It's all gray now. We've changed our shop, it's been remodeled. We've got all the latest equipment in the shop. We've got diamonds, brand new, used, remounts, um, Anything you want, anything you can find at the mall, we've got it. And Joan, I appreciate your comments about how 
amazing you said the showroom look. Uh, we're very proud of it. We invite everybody in every day that when we do the shows, we invite people to come in. Uh, I had people that thought we were a pawn shop. We've never been a pawn shop. We don't have saws and drills and equipment and that kind of stuff on display. We're strictly jewelry, fine jewelry, new jewelry, vintage jewelry. We have 21 showcases jam-packed with vintage jewelry. We have anything you can Im imagine with um, Rolexes, Tag Hewers, the finest jewelry money can buy. We've got promotional grade. We've got anything you can want in the jewelry business, we have it. And we have it at half what the mall stores would be, if not less, sometimes 60% off of that. So, you know, check us out. We appreciate your cards and letters. Uh, Joan, thank you very much for your comment on the store. Uh, and we just invite everybody, come in and, and check us out, see what we're about. Let us show you, let my staff, uh, Brooke Buckner and myself are both GIA certified. Uh, we can give you the specs, we can meet or beat any price you can find in the southeastern United States. So again, we ask you all to come in and check us out. And Joan from Hendersonville, Tennessee, up around Nashville, Please come back and see me again. I, I enjoyed your note, your letter, and uh, we work very hard to keep that going all the time. So thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Davis, our family just got back from a week-long vacation in Panama City. We paid for the vacation from old unused jewelry that we had sold to you. Thank you. That's from Jenny in Udawa. That's awesome. Jenny in Udawa, thank you for your letter very much. I'm. Uh, I'm very pleased to know you paid for your vacation. Uh, in the notes, you said that Panama City, you spent a week there and paid for it entirely with unused jewelry. I think that's great. Um, if, if you didn't have to pay for any extra money and what you got, that was a good vacation because it was like getting money from home without writing for it. Um, thank you for your comment. I had, a, I had another gentleman that was in here, it was two or three weeks ago, he rented a four bedroom house at Disney World, a condo at Disney World. The tickets, four kids and him and his wife was $5,000 package for the week. And he paid for it every bit with merchandise that he sold to us. So that was another success story. It was, it was great, he had that much. He had some diamonds, he had some coins, but he paid for every penny of it and he works with us now. So. I can verify him, but uh, Jenny, thank you very much for your note. I appreciate your business. As always, please return again, come and see us, and we'll meet or beat anybody's prices, always. Thank you. Davis of Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds. The time is of the essence. I have never talked to you before like this and I probably won't do it again. But I want you to understand that gold and silver bullion is going to dry up. It's going to get to the point where we cannot get it. So it's, it's very important that you get your deals in, you get your quantities, what you want to order, whether it be one ounce, 10 ounces, or 100 ounces, it doesn't matter. You've got to start getting these tickets in, getting them filled, getting the, the merchandise is getting harder and harder to get. And yes, that's gold and silver both. Um, I work literally days, weeks, and months sometimes on one order trying to make sure it gets filled and in on time. Uh, all the shipments are running late. Uh, we can't control that. They ship with large shippers. They have insurance, it's, it's insured. It's, it's, it's already blocked out, it's paid for, and as you get it, you take it home and you put it up and you control your future. But understand one thing, it's gonna get harder and harder and harder to get as we go into this inflationary runaway prices. The grocery store you feel 25% now 
it's probably going to feel stronger and stronger. The, the gas is not going to get any less. They're talking now about a 68 cent discount. 68 cents on a $5 gas bill, $5 a gallon, and they're going to knock 68 cents off of it and feel like they gave you something. That ain't going to happen. So as that shows up, it, the price at the pumps, the stock markets are crashing. We lost 792 points yesterday at one point. It came back 400 points, but who's to say when it's not going to come back? Who's to say when all the bullion is drying up? Who's to say the money's no good? So there's a lot of things that we've never experienced before. I hope we never experience it again, but we've got to deal with it. We've got to do this while it's at hand, while the problem exists. You've got to protect your portfolio, your future, your stocks and bonds is no good. So what else do you have to rely on? Gold and silver. Been around forever, gonna be around until the end of time. It's just a matter of how much that you've got, how much you put up, and how you protect your net worth. It's all up to you. I'll help you work through it, but please come in. Spend some time with me. I'll show you how to read the markets. I'll show you how to understand every penny you put in gold or silver. And it's out there. We're still getting it. The flow is good right now, but it's not going to be good forever. They warned against two weeks yesterday. Two weeks to get one ounce of gold. That's forever. I get it 20 ounces, 30 ounces, 50 ounces at a time. So get your orders in. We'll get them filled as quick as we can. But it, time is of the essence, and don't wait around until it's too late or when I come on the air and I say, look, we've closed our gold and silver department. You know, that's not going to happen right now, but it's in the future. And I get warned about it every time I talk to the big boys. So don't wait till the last minute. Get it done. It's, it's call to action. It needs to be taken care of for your future and our future and everybody's future. So listen to this and understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to panic you. I'm just telling you it's getting harder and harder to get every single day. I thank you. God bless you. Have a nice week. This is Rick Davis of Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds. We the people have to change the world. Things are going on in this world that can't be explained, but if you pay attention, you'll survive it. Put gold and silver back now. If you have it at home, or put up in a safe. Gold and silver will rise and it will be the answer to your financial problems. So take advantage of it. Buy it today while it's still affordable. Thank you and God bless. Um, warp. Mm, yeah, tire yourself out. <laughs> tire yourself <laughs> out, little one. <laughs> Got, Got her. Got her. Anywho, welcome back from commercial break. <laughs> and uh, Reigning <laughs> champion of thumb wrestling. Thumb wrestling. You see how midget these are? We're She's got some stony little thumbs. Thumb <laughs> <laughs> it's just short and stubby. Come, Come in and we'll buy you jewelry thumb. and beat you a thumb, beat you thumb, thumb war. I will. She can't. <laughs> she has a crippled Never. hand. Bless her heart. Bless her. It, no, it's, it's got not. Pins in it's not bionic. the thumb, though. I have to wrestle her bionic hand. hand. don't work, No, that's, dude, whatever. They work fine. Anywho, um... So, to recap, um, we still have back to school, Labor Day, vacation still wrapping up, things like that going on. We talked about that earlier. People we are did. trying to put their money together to fill their gas tank for vacation. Exactly. It's not necessarily, you know. So. And Labor Day cookouts always yeah. need some extra money because the grocery store ain't like day. it used to be. And we buy mm -hmm. massive amounts of scrap. It's, it's unbelievable. We sold the other day just to one dealer, just scrap was $26,000. Wow. So it mounts up every day and people come in, get $10, $100, $500, but all those little things and it winds up with a nice pile at the end of the week. So right. you know, that's what we look for. So if you're not using it or it's broken or you just don't like it, bring it in bring and you get in. some cash in your pocket. 
And then, uh, of course, we always do have repairs if you have something broken that you want to oh, have taken care of. Point. Remounts. We do oh, a yeah. tremendous remount business. Mm -hmm. You go to the mall stores, a, a mounting, just to put your diamonds that you already have in, this mounting is five to $700. We can get that mounting for $200, set your stones in it, your probably total expense is three, three fifty. So don't go to the malls and think they're having a remounting party and you're getting all this extra stuff free. Right. It's not free. It's double their money all the way across the board and sometimes three times on a remount. Yeah. So, and a lot yeah. of people, that's a great idea for Christmas or you know, your later you know, birthdays and have stuff your, too. Have your diamond ring remounted into a pendant. Uh, have your pendant remounted into a ring. I mean, you know, it works both Done ways. Pricing, so, yep. Any way you want to do it, but be thinking about that. Great Christmas gift ideas this yeah, year. Yeah, definitely. Sure. And we've got all the equipment to do it with. The laser welders running 24-7 back there. So, mm -hmm. you know, remember that. Taking I fingers off left and right. Yeah. <laughs> this is well, how we wave. Read our sign up there. We are proud of our work. Anything you don't like, please tell us about it. Right. You know, we stress that. If you don't like something please. that we do, bring it to our attention. We want to make it right. Yeah. yeah. You sure. know, even though it, it sounds like a complaint, I'm the complaint department. I handle all the complaints, so mm -hmm. you know, you I'll go. make it work, always. Okay. And I think on that note, we're going to close it out, and uh, we will see you guys next week here at Talking Gold. And no more thumb wrestling. Psh, what? <laughs> Closing the show with thumb wrestling. I'll let you in. We didn't say what. You say who runs. Ah, <laughs> technicality. You say yeah. who runs it though, right, Brian? <laughs> I'm just part of the pretty window dress. That's right. You're just a pretty face.